Hey folks, I'm um, out in the alpaca barn where it's cooler. I'm staying out of the heat today. And um, wanted just to touch base with you a little bit before we get together tonight for our prayer, our community prayer. The um, burden is on us, folks. We are to pray. We are to, we're in a time of change, a season of change according to the Jewish calendar. And uh, according to my calendar as well, I believe God is prompting us to to um, pray for that change. But we're called to be light, and so uh, let your light shine. Let let the glory of God shine through you. Um, and you do that by the way you live. If you say you're a Christian, live like one. If you say you love the Lord, pray like the Lord. Ask Him to give you boldness in your prayer, believing and expecting great things, uh, we we confine the Lord. We don't ask for great things. We don't really believe they're going to happen. So you know what? We'll get we're becoming functional atheists, and I I'm concerned about that. So I'm asking you to pray with me and pray for our country, for our community, for our lost loved ones, for our children, for a revival, and for the church to be reformed and uh, awakened and take back its rightful place. Uh, by speaking. Uh, there's enough Christians in this country, if they all spoke up, uh, they could change a whole lot of things, but they, they are complacent. And so uh, just pray with me, and uh, we will look for you tonight at 6.30 at the uh, Solid Rock Church in the back. Go around to the back parking lot. You go south on old uh, Main Street, Madison Heights. You turn, um, oh, somewhere past 6th Street, and you go down to 5th, you'll be all right, but you see the parking lot that's empty, and you turn right and go back to Church Street, and the church has the big limestone rock in front of it. It's an old brick church. Go around behind it. Uh, we'll be looking for you. I'm looking for some new people. I'm expecting, praying that new people will show up. So we're going to pray right now. Uh, we have some new requests, and so um, I will um, see what I can do for my memory. Heavenly Father, God, we just lift up your name. We magnify you, Lord, because you are holy, Lord, and most of the time we are not. We ask you, Lord, to be mindful of us and help us, Lord, to be aware and discerning of our unholy acts of our sin, Lord, and forgive us of that sin. Forgive us and help us to forgive others. Help us to lead a life that's content and quiet, Lord, and we, we lift up our uh, government officials to you. Lord, with all that's going on, we ask you, Lord, to, um, to move in that, Lord. We pray for revival in the Congress and, and we pray for renewal and and a re resetting of moral value in our leaders in the country. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters of all races and we ask your God to touch them, to hear their prayer, oh Lord. We pray, Lord, for this community. We pray, Lord, that, that it's time to take it back for you, oh Lord. We pray for our churches that, that the, the, the leaders and the uh, members would be contrite and concerned about their sin and and not determined to do what they want to do and then still go to church on Sunday and call themselves Christians. That is foolishness. That is self-worship. That is idolatry. God, forgive us of idolatry. Forgive us of our national sin of, of abortion, which is child murder. And forgive us, Lord, of truth-breaking with our brothers and sisters, with Native Americans uh, and in general, and our, our bordering neighbors, Lord, help us, Lord, to... Um, reach out in love to all and lord we pray for this country we pray for this service tonight we ask you lord to lead us i ask this in jesus name and i give him honor praise and glory amen all right guys i'm gonna be looking for you tonight come on see me and uh, we'll pray for you we love you bye